Hey everybody, this is Fred with One or CCTV coming to you with another subscriber and inspired video. Um, this one is with Hikvision. Um, the IVMS software, the client software, is infamous for um, giving end users issues with remote playback um, when using HIK Connect. Um, there are a lot of errors that come up. A lot of videos don't get downloaded properly. When they do get downloaded, the user can't play back. So as stated, this was a subscriber requested video. Please subscribe our button. Click the bottom right hand subscribe button on your screen. You'll see a red button. Um, so you'll be notified of these videos. And I promise you this is good stuff. Um, let's dive into it. The first thing we're going to do is open the IVMS client, the desktop client. Um, if you have not done that yet, there is a video link in the description that walks you through how to download IVMS and how to connect your recorder to it. Um, but for folks, folks that have already done that, this issue is the playback issue. So um, when we're in IVMS, which is the playback for HIC vision cameras, you can go to Live View or Playback. Okay, when we're in Live View, um, this is a Burger King here. We can select the cameras we want to see. There's POS and there's the customer seating area. As you can see, um, very clear video, good compression with this IVMS tool. It streams well remote. We are remote right now um, and we're watching the restaurant and everything looks good. So the issue comes with playback. We go back to the control button in the top left portion of the screen. Um, we were just in main view. The issue people have is in playback. This is when we want to go back and see something that occurred yesterday or a week ago or a month ago. Um, we're just going to go in to the calendar on the top of the screen, right below where it says time, and we're going to pick our day. For the sake of this video, we're going to go to yesterday, which was March 1st. You can specify a time period. For instance, if you just wanted to look from, you know, 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock, you could put six for the start time, seven for the end time, and hit OK. I like doing all day from 0, 0,100 to 2,300, so that's what we're going to do. Um, and then you would select your camera. OK, so say we want to look at the register cameras. OK, so we can double click on that. And that is going to bring up the register cameras for yesterday, for March 1st. Um, as you can see, the restaurant is obviously closed at midnight. But the playback screen, the timestamp clearly displays it's March 1st at midnight. So down here, there is a time bar. Um, you can see the blue line that indicates uh, recording, that are recorded. We can scroll. If you look, I can click on this um, and move it with my mouse. Okay, I'm left clicking and just scrolling over. I'm going to go, let's go to around 1500, uh, 3 o'clock and see what's going on. Surely the restaurant will be open at three. Um, and it is. And um, that is how you do playback, okay? The recorder is playing back yesterday at three o'clock. So now there's an incident. Okay, unfortunately somebody steals cash. That's not happening in this video, but we're gonna show you how to burn the video. You're just gonna simply use your mouse, okay? You're gonna right click at the start of the incident and you're going to hit the start recording button, just like so. If you look at the bottom right hand of the screen, corner of the screen right here, you'll see a light bulb and a red record button. Okay, that tells us the recording is live. After we captured the incident, we're going to right click with the mouse now and stop recording. See right there where we hit start recording the first time. Now we're going to stop it and it's going to give us the path to our folder where that um, video recorded, okay? And this here is where people get into trouble, okay? If you have media player on your computer, your computer will not play this file until you convert it. You cannot send it to the police and they can't use it unless they know how to convert it. So let's just double click on this file and I'll show you. My computer is gonna tell me, hey, I can't play this guy. I don't know what it is, help me. Um, the file isn't playable. Okay, we knew that. We knew that um, because this is a issue. So what we have to do is convert that file. Um, in Hikvision's um, website, if you go to Hikvision's website, they have what is called a file 
converter. Okay, so let's just for giggles go to heckvision.com and I can show you where you can download this. Um, there's Google, there's Heckvision. We're going to go into Heckvision. And in previous videos, we've been to this resource before, but go to supports and resources. We want to go to downloads and tools. In the tools section, we will find our um, format converter. Boop, 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 boop. Right here. If you hit this red plus, it will give you the option to download that file, which I have already done. You need to download this to convert the video that you downloaded. I know it's a pain, but it's what you do to make it work. And after you do it a couple times, I promise it's not that bad. So that file, the Burger King file that we downloaded, we now want to convert. So how do we do that? We go to our file converter. Sorry, format converter. We're going to open that guy up. When we do, um, all you're going to do is select that file that we dragged to the desktop right there, the Burger King file that won't play. We are going to do a single ad. We're going to get that path, okay, which is this PC desktop. You'll see it right there, Burger King file. Um, once you have the file, you're going to tell, tell it where you want to download it. Okay, we want to download it to the desktop, somewhere you can find it. Hit next. And this is the meat and potatoes of, of the process. So you can see the video right now is in H.264 format. That's why you can't play it. Your computer doesn't know what the heck it is. It's some Chinese format in these recorders. Media player won't use it. So we want to go to target format, and we want to pick AVI, which Windows Media Player can use, and hit done. Okay? And you'll see the file up here. You'll see it's unconverted, folks. So what we want to do is hit the start button down here. And this is going to have a status bar, and it's going to tell you it's done. And this file, which would not play, has been converted to a Windows Media Player file here. And as, she, as you can see here, she will play. Okay. Just like that. That is how our file converter works. And you must download this. You must use it to get this clip to be usable so you can forward it to your insurance company, to the police, uh, to whoever needs it. Okay. So the IVMS 4200, uh, the software does work. Um, it's just once the video is downloaded and you have the file, you have to convert it from that H.264 to an AVI file that can be played through Media Player. Simple as that, folks. Please like our video. Um, if you want to see more of this content on Heck Vision, on alarm systems, on ingenious access points and Wi-Fi, um, hit that subscribe button um, so we can reach out when we have more content. And we'll see you in the field.